to episode 231 of the Parkrun Adventurers podcast. Yay! <laughs> Look, um, firstly, I'm Ollie. I'm Ollie Spake, and this is my wonderful editor, <laughs> producer, and co-host, Melissa Ellis. And um, Mel, thanks for joining. Thank you, Ollie. We firstly would like to thank, special thank you to everybody who has supported Ollie and I since we have taken over the podcast, since we've come back from uh, the Parkrun Pause, which includes the following people. Yeah, look, first and foremost, we are not Mel and Scotty. You might have gathered that by now. And uh, for those that have been to previous Palms, um, we've been fortunate to have them join us. Um, But Mel and Scotty... And Mel, thank you for joining us and supporting us with the the gear. But uh, thank you so much for trusting us with the pod that the two of you created and fostered for so long and the adventuring community that you fostered as well. need to remember to thank our families Uh, they're not here with us this weekend but uh, they've had to adjust to a life around recording nights uh, editing days uploading demands and endless miscellaneous podcast talk Another important thank you is our visual arts department, Chris Fraser, uh, who's photoshopped the episode photos for each post each week, often at late notice as we've armed and art over which one to use and what to call the episode. Thank you. Of course, we need to thank our Channel 5 news crew uh, with the new addition that we sprung on everybody from of Alison from uh, New Zealand. Thank you for continuing. Where, where are they? Tony is here and Lyndall is Lindell's here. here. And, Dave. and Dave's here. Thank you for continuing to support us as we've taken over the reins and providing us with the content week to week, which has often um, been, well, it is very helpful when we don't know what to talk about. Well, yeah. <laughs> and look, you, you get up to much more than some of us, so it's wonderful to hear those stories. Please keep them coming. And uh, for those that aren't with us today of the Channel 5 News crew, we look forward to palming or park running with you sometime in the future. Uh, thank you to our informant. Our informant who's brought us his own unique version of statistics, parkrun statistics, and um, look, gets more emails than we do, let's be honest. (laughs) (laughs) And a special big uh, palm thank you to our palm party planner extraordinaire, Mr Tony O'Connell, aka TOC, who's worked so hard to help put together the weekend for us all, uh, in conjunction with the Sunny Coast crew, of course, but thanks for all your efforts, TOC. Um, moving on from that, we must also thank Deb from Berry Lane, who opened today and gave us the venue to record. We're very appreciative of that. Thank you, Deb, behind the scenes there. Yes. And, of course, Mel and the Nambour team that gave uh, the beautiful morning this morning and the special... Oh, we should thank Fluffy. Yes, thank you, Fluffy. <laughs> Just for the world, the world that hasn't heard the announcement yet and hasn't seen it flooded on social media, we, we did get to meet Fluffy. Yes. We're very excited about yeah. that. Uh, and our roadie, our very special roadie, big round of applause for the wonderful sound effects we're getting. <laughs> so, as I think I said before, but just in case, welcome everyone to Palm 2021. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to Nambour and thank you so much, as Mel said, to the Nambour team for having us. Some of you didn't join us this morning, so uh, this won't work so well for the audio medium, but just a quick show of hands, who went to Nambour this morning? Yep, so we've got a fairly good representation there. We've got some others that have been to other park runs, so call them out and we'll, we'll share that with the audience. Kiwana. Kiwana. Ocean View. Ocean View. Brightwater. Brightwater. Golden Beach. Golden Beach. SS Cooper. SS Cooper. Excellent. Well, look, thank you for making the trek across and joining us at the recording here. You missed out on a beautiful Nambour Park run, but we trust that uh, you uh, you know exactly what we're talking about. So uh, it was fantastic. Thank you to the crew for uh, letting us do Plan A. I won't lie, there was a little bit of disappointment about not getting to do Plan B. You can go back tonight, Ollie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not coming. <laughs> but you know, those extra few k's we've done 
both this morning and yesterday afternoon across the Nambour course. He's marathon more than made training. up for it. <laughs> yeah, in theory, in theory. Um, and look, uh, it's a palm, and who would have believed 12 months ago after the last palm 2020 that we would have been fortunate enough to have a palm this time of year, you know, for the fourth consecutive year. So uh, thank you to those that have joined us once again. Thank you to those that are joining us for the first time. We see a show of hands who's joining us for the first palm. Excellent. So there's a fair proportion, maybe what, a quarter of you. Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, who's been to two? Two. That's good. So we've got some repeat visitors. Mel's got a <laughs> Mel's got a pet. <laughs> Collecting them. Yeah. Um, who's been to three? Three. Yep, a good solid contingent at three. But we have four now. Who's who's been to four? Excellent. I think a few of the threes were fours. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. I. <laughs> so look, it, it's a it's a pretty special occasion for anyone that um, I mean, I'm obviously talking to everyone present here. But for anyone that is listening that hasn't been to a palm, you know, hopefully you will get to share it with us at some point in time. And thank you so much, as I say, for everyone that has joined us on this occasion. I certainly don't want to gloss over it. Um, we've been fortunate enough to finally get to do Nambour Park Run. Mel, what did you think? <laughs> <laughs> it was very, no, it was beautiful. It was a really beautiful course um, and, and the, yeah, the hilliest and the hardest stuff done, no doubt about it. Yep. Uh, the, the rocks and the, and the elevation um, and the downhill velocity, I think uh, it was referred to this morning. <laughs> yes, yeah. Look, I, 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 we thank the team, but a special shout out, obviously, to our uh, run director this morning, David. Uh, fantastic job and, and certainly enjoyed the run brief. Prepared us quite adequately, as did the uh, the first timers briefing. Was it um, was it yeah. Trevor? Trevor. That was amazing. Yes, yes. I'd have to <laughs> say Big cheer. that's the best first timers briefing yeah. I've ever been. Had yes. a pleasure to uh, listen to. It was. Yep. He was great. Yeah. Wish we could have recorded that. Damn it. <laughs> One job, hey? Oh, no. <laughs> I knew he was going to be so funny. <laughs> no. uh, yes. And we, um, we, we talk now that we did get to see Fluffy. Yes. So, um, look, the, the elusive Fluffy. I suppose, we, uh, as we've mentioned in previous pods, um, we, we've maybe taken for granted that there are other features of Nambour Park Run. Certainly <laughs> Fluffy's been a very prominent feature. But, uh, yeah, look, uh, thank you, Melissa, for taking us on a few Fluffy adventures and, <laughs> and persisting to the point that we did get that special cuddle. Yeah, look, he's a, he's a magnificent feature and obviously a well-loved local. It's, it's wonderful to see him out there. Didn't see Muffy, of course, um, but uh, Fluffy's certainly more than made up for it. Um, very fortunate, as we understand, getting to do the, uh, the Plan A course and, and getting to go across the creek, um, particularly like the disco at the creek crossing. That was, that was a, a nice motivator. And, um, and Mel? You did a pretty good time. You going to share that? <laughs> <laughs> it was um, it was a lot of fun. I think yeah. Th what I love about Palm is just getting to to, to get together with park runners and um, people that are clearly passionate about park running in a community. Getting to go to an event that has long been on my list and has one of the things that I love most, which was hills. So um, yeah, it was it was great to, to get out there and to follow a few uh, park runners and to be following. Um, I didn't catch the young gentleman's name that came in third and got his PB but um, Murray. Murray yeah congratulations Murray because uh, he got me across the line too. So. Is he the one you referred to in the run brief that was yes. going for yes. a cool yeah. condition yeah. PB? Yeah. Excellent. Congrats. Be my son. Oh. <laughs> Murray son of the event director uh, sorry run director run director there we are no, well, he was fantastic, and uh, yeah, he was. He at about 400 meters to go, uh, he was coaching me down there. Um, didn't quite uh, help me avoid rolling my ankle, but uh, aside from oh, that, no. <laughs> but uh, yeah, what a great morning! It was. Yeah. All right. Um. So look, usually. 
when we record because in case you haven't noticed we're pretty new to this <laughs> podcasting thing that some of us may be a little more than others but uh, as co-hosts we'd get the chance to pause and 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 think about what we're doing next so uh, i'm going to be a bit slow on the button here but <laughs> but nonetheless um as with all palms we'd love to have a chat to some of the the team um so certainly we'd love to have a, a bit of a chat with um with melissa and uh and, and a few of the others too if that's all right so bear with us and um we'll grab a mic and, and have a quick chat so melissa taylor Thank you for joining us. Thank you for hosting us at Palm 2021 at uh, the event of which you are the event director. Thanks for coming out to visit. It's been great having you all out here. Yeah, look, it's it's a beautiful park run. Um, I certainly picked up a, a sense of pride uh, around the the event team uh, on the day and, and just generally speaking with regards to Nambour Park Run, there's a lot to be proud of. It's such a beautiful course. It is. It's a very tight-knit community. I think suffering on the hills brings people closer. <laughs> 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 so, uh, yeah, and an awesome team of volunteers. So we, we went out this mo- uh, we went out this morning for the uh, very early start for the course markings. You need to go out there and you need to put flower that's arrows right. down? Yeah, so at 5.30 every Saturday morning we have a set-up team go out of two people and usually the run director goes out with them and they mark the course with flour and put the signs out and we've lost three people out there before that we know of because mm-hmm. those are the ones that we've found. <laughs> <laughs> so keep your eyes peeled basically yeah. in case that... Yeah, okay. So we, the um, course sort of developed from there. It's like, all right, we need more flower markings there. We need an extra sign there. And then with the creek crossing, back in the day we used to cross the creek no matter what was happening Mm -hmm. and then too many people ignored the run briefing please slow down across the creek and we had a few too many incidents there Mm. with our caution sign so now we've got plan b in place yeah so how long has that been an alternating course option probably we would have gone close to 12 months off of just plan a okay yep 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 and how do you find the the local park runners and the visitors, I suppose, respectively, their reactions to uh, each course? Uh, we find our numbers drop off, surprisingly, when <laughs> it rains overnight. <laughs> <laughs> they suspect it's going to be plan B. And I don't know why, it's, I don't mind it. It's only 20 metres extra elevation. And to me, once you back up the twins, it feels like you're going downhill all the way after you get over that hill. Yes. So uh, the twins, I've heard the mention of the twins. Now, I, I haven't actually stopped to clarify which part of the course is the twins, but there were two very familiar looking parts of the course. So could you explain for anyone that I suppose might not be familiar, like me, the twins? The twins is the hill that heads down towards the creek. Yes. That was halfway point. Yep, yep. So they're called the twins because... Um, you get down the first one, you think it's finished, but it only flattens out for a little bit and you're on to the second one, and it's worse going back up the twins. <laughs> I would imagine. <laughs> Yes, yeah. Now, again, I didn't catch this other park runner's name, but there was um, one of the regulars who I was running with at some stage who mentioned to me that during the lockdown, um, he was out there freedom running, um, and he just went to do Plan B all the time. So clearly you've got some, some passionistas for, the, for Plan B. Yeah, some Plan B professionals. I think that was probably Pete. Might have been, yeah. might have been. Reasonably colourful shirt, but yeah, not a fluffy shirt. And it's great to see some so many fluffy shirts today. I think um, hopefully Fluffy was impressed when uh, when he saw a few of them. Well, the people in the caravan park were. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, even the locals in Nambour here. <laughs> and um, look, uh, you've been on the pod before, so um, you know, we've heard a bit previously when you when you joined the pod about how you um, you joined Park Run and and uh, the Nambour community here. But um, tell us, you know, how things been at Nambour Park Run, particularly since you've, you've started back after COVID? Uh, yeah, it's been a bit different, I think. It's a strange sort of feel. We do struggle to get volunteers, and I don't think we're alone in that. I think a few people are struggling. I'm not sure what the reason is. I'm, I suspect that people are worried we're going to shut down again, and 
what they want to get their runs in. Mm. Yeah, that's um, the only difference, and I guess people aren't hugging yes. as much as they used to. Yeah, yeah. So, but we're still a pretty tight community, and we still do our breakfast every Saturday morning together. So that part's still good. Excellent, yeah. And have you been out park running yourself at some other courses recently? I have. I took my dad out touristing over January because Kiwana has a notorious plan B as well that <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like. So we did Petrie, Warner Lakes and oh God, I'm lost. What mm. was the other one we did? Do you remember? And Probably. so we've got so mm. many park runs on the coast now in Sport for Choice and then we've got Mulaney that's only yes. just recently launched and that's a beautiful course, absolutely. That's it. Yeah, we've, we've heard a little bit from Mulaney recently from, from Lyndall and heard a few more recommendations today to, to go and check it out. So I guess if there's um, any time left in the weekend, I might try and squeeze in a squeeze. But yeah. yeah. Are you tempted, Melissa, to go over and uh, attempt the other West Australian supposed hardest course? Mm. Uh, yeah, I'd love to. Make to. a judgment. Can we have a GoFundMe? <laughs> <laughs> We could make that a palm one, yeah. <laughs> hmm, let's 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 put that on the uh, the whiteboard for discussion a bit later. Hmm. Um, hey, look, I've noticed a bit of discussion recently across different forums around elevation and tough park runs. Um, yeah, on reflection, and a couple of years down the track from last time we heard, how does Nambour rate? You think compared to some of the others? You, I can trust that you're completely unbiased in this. So. <laughs> Well, there's Victory Heights, yep. which is up near Gympie. That, that's more technical, I think. Mm. So that gives you a bit of a run for our money. But elevation-wise, they fall short. Western Australia, apparently they are elevation-wise more than us, unless we're on Plan B. Uh -huh. Then we've got them. Ah. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, I think Mulaney's got a few hills. It's... Um, yeah, it doesn't come close to Nambo. I'm not sure. Apparently there's one in Sydney. Is it Black Button? That's in Newcastle. Uh, yep. Yeah, no. No? <laughs> <laughs> awesome course, but no. Mm, mm. So still rates? I think we're still up there. Yep. Well, I guess there's only one way to tell. So. Okay, yeah. so Palm 2022? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see, we'll see. You know, somewhere on the horizon, but uh, as you've suggested, um, you know, because according to the run brief this morning, we got to try the uh, the best park run in the world this morning, but we need to try the second best park run in the world, yes. being Plan B. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so to get the real objective view there. And um, so you, you're joined here today by your dad as well? That's right. Yes, yeah. yeah. He's got... 300 and how many runs now? It's got a six in it, but I've had that. <laughs> <laughs> so Dad's 87 years old, 88 in August. He was the oldest park runner to reach 250 park runs in Australia, I don't know about in the world. Nice work, John. Only the third oldest now. Ah. <laughs> And um, so he's a, a big, um, what would you call it, supporter of all the Octo park runners. So he follows all the park runners that are in their 80s and keeps track of how many runs they're all doing and follows them. Do they have a Facebook group? They should. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to create a Facebook group for them. Maybe they yeah. write letters. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if the mic would um, stretch out to John. We were possibly going to have it a chat, but through. you think it'll, it it'll reach? Yeah. Yeah. If we, if Do you mind if we, we have a chat to John too? So welcome John and, thank and thank you for joining us. Just hold the mic up there a bit closer right. and um, yeah, look, wanted to just add to what uh, your daughter was saying around the, the stats. You were mm -hmm. showing me the folder earlier yeah. today, so um, yeah. Well it, well, it all started when I did the two, when I reached the 250 club. Yes. And then I started keeping stats of everybody in Australia who was in the 250 club. Yes. And then as a sideline to that, I started keeping stats on 80 plus runs. Yep. And I now I think I have a complete list of every every 80 plus run done in Australia. Wow. From 2012 on. There were five done in 2012. 
Um, there were 5,000 done in 2019. Mm. And um, last year, of course, with the COVID, we got down 1,700, which we passed today. But today? Yeah. So a huge clap to our, um, our octogenarians. Yeah. Um, and, and look, that's a very impressive stats folder. It was great to see some from familiar names. <laughs> <laughs> so we've, we've got a question here. We have a mysterious identity as part of the podcast, the informant, and uh, nobody's sure as to who it is. So uh, obviously someone with a with a bit of a, a knowledge on yeah. statistics. So uh, it sounds like uh, you're you're a candidate to be this secret identity. <laughs> yes, and, and so you did Kiwana Park run this yeah, morning yeah. yeah how was that well uh it was a very nice morning for it uh, i think i always think kuana is the best park run around but it is uh, pretty nice. quite a nice, <laughs> quite a nice, nice morning this morning yes um no, we got a little hot by the time i got to the finish and uh, i'm not doing very well these days so I'm just glad that I did it. <laughs> nice work. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, yep. Get the finished token, yeah. scan it yeah. in. And, yeah. Yeah, well, the, the, when you get to my age, the, you've got, if you think about not doing something like bag run, you think, well, then you, if you're not doing that, then you're not doing this and that. And what am I doing? You know, yeah. <laughs> and it's all over. <laughs> so you just have to keep doing things. Well, you're clearly kicking some goals and yeah. uh, and knocking over Kiwana Park Run frequently. It's um, I think it has a deceptive climb on that that first yeah. stretch out there. Well, in my younger days, it. I used to like that. yeah, I like running up those two yep. inclines, yep. and now. For the last two weeks, it's beginning, beginning to be a problem. Yeah, but, yeah. But that might that might go away again. Yeah. So, do the octogen, octogenarians? <laughs> do they have their own parkrun club no, that they're affiliated no, 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 with? No. no. no um, so that's a word a lady, of mouth. Lady in Rhodes in New South Wales, Marion yes. Griffith, who organises octogenarian events. Yes. Okay. And we had one in uh, Cleveland. Uh, in 2019, uh, we got about a dozen octogenarians from around, most, mostly from just around the uh, southeast Queensland area. But there was one traveller from New South Wales who joined us, um, yep. unexpectedly. But, um, uh, that, that was good. The, uh, the guy who took my title as the oldest. Two, uh, oldest 250 clubber in Australia. Yes. Um, he's in Cleveland, John Day, and uh, I've been, I've, I've actually walked the course with him on two occasions now. Um, Which, yeah, as I was saying before, it's nice to see that that's not all too competitive then. You're well, willing to support each other. Well, the, there's only a few park runners who are really competitive with other people. Yep. The rest of us are only competing with ourselves. That's right. Yeah. 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 Oh, look, fantastic, and thank you so much for joining us, John. Okay, um, pleasure. Well done on another Kiwana Park run, and um, yeah, look forward to reviewing this week's yeah. stats. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, John. Thank you. So, thank you, John and Melissa. So for those of you who maybe haven't been to a palm before, you've probably heard, but we do have a tradition of including a favourite feature of the podcast as part of our palm get-together. So with no further ado, we'd like to introduce Lyndall the Legendary. Yes! <laughs> our quiz master for the day. So we will be seeking volunteers to join our quiz for today. So we've got a, a series of questions. So do we have any volunteers? Erica? Erica, yeah, Erica will. No. If, if it helps anyone, what I've noticed is that uh, anyone can win the quiz. Anyone can yeah, win. In case you're up to date on your uh, podcasts. Well, what about that? I'm happy to give someone else a go. No, I, I, we'd oh, certainly oh, welcome oh, some, oh, some oh, returning oh, yeah. contestants <laughs> as well. <laughs> Mossy. Melissa Taylor? Melissa. Yes. yes. Melissa? Chris, would you like to? 
<laughs> Anyone else? Can I get one more girl? Come on, try something, go. <laughs> what about Jackie? This is like a state of origin. Jackie, you don't If you're going to tackle, don't be rough. Janet, yes. And uh, that's the only South Australian. <laughs> And, and certainly it's always been a tradition of the quiz to have a prize. You'll notice the prize might be slightly different this year, but um, you know, it's, it's still a prize nonetheless. We hope you appreciate Sizes it. Sizes and everything. <laughs> <laughs> so let's hand over to Lyndall um, to take us through, I suppose, everything we need to know for the quiz. And I'll put my listening ears on to try and help with your uh, adjudication. Oh, yeah, that'd be great, Ollie. If you could help um, with the buzzing in, because it will be a buzz-in quiz. Um, I guess the ground rules, one answer only. So once you've buzzed in and answered, um, unless everybody else has answered, that's your only chance. Just, just, just to keep it a bit fair and give everyone a go to answer, particularly with the ones where there's clues that add up to reveal what the answer is. So, um, so be careful, don't buzz in too early. I don't know that there's any other rules really. It's all meant to be a bit of fun. Um, obviously the questions are park run themed. Um, we will try and make it as painless as possible for everybody and try and keep things moving along. Are there any other rules, Mel or Ollie, that you can think of? I know that you said I was legendary, but I've never done this before. So. <laughs> I wouldn't so call I us as experts either. So I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> For full disclosure here, have we done a sound check on each buzzer yet? Because um, this is an indictment on okay, my listening yes. skills. If we... Brendan. Yes. Melissa. Janet. And Chris. <laughs> All right, okay. so that's what yeah. we're listening for for each of our... Contestants? Do we have someone keeping score or is that me? <laughs> How about you do that, Ollie? It sounds like Good you idea. just volunteered yourself. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is everyone ready? Scorekeeper ready? Adjudicator ready? Quizmaster kind of ready? Contestants ready? All right, okay. So we're going to jump straight in to a where am I? So this is a uh, question where we will get clues layer on layer to reveal the location. So today will be the 118th event for me and only last week filled the fastest 500 table. The average finishes per participant is a 4.7 and 20 participants on average each week. Back in July 2018, the event had five participants and five volunteers. Brendan. Brendan. No. Oh. Whilst the name might sound like nothing, they are a strong community of approximately 2,000 people. The town borders onto Little Desert National Park. Janet. Janet. Broken Hill? No. My course is a double out and back in a swamp and wildlife reserve. And even though Hill is present in my name, the course is flat. I'm located halfway between Melbourne and Adelaide on the Western Highway. And my name sounds something like Phil. Phil. Yes. Well done. <laughs> One point to Chris. Okay, second question. I'm looking for a two-part answer to this question. Which junior park run has changed its location and name since returning? <coughs> Janet. I forgot the first part. The second part is Bellevue. Um, oh, oops. Oh, oops. Oops. <laughs> oops. <laughs> okay, does somebody else want to buzz in? Is it Brenton? Bell, no. 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 Um, School. Anyone South else? Southport. Oh, Southport. Park. Southport. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, South. I'm willing to accept that. Janet Southport and yeah. Bellevue. Southport was the old name, yes. but since returning, they've moved to Bellevue Park. Well done, Janet. Okay, question number three. What was the last country to join the Park Run family? Chris. Japan. No. Brendan. Netherlands? Yes. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, so scorer, can we do a score check? Yes. Currently, uh, we have three contestants off the mark. Brendan, Janet, and Chris. And Melissa is just one behind. Just one behind, so there's plenty of time, Melissa. Okay, my next question is a who am I? Whilst I'm a prolific Australian adventurer, I have also run at events in the USA, Italy, France, and New Zealand. David Moss. <laughs> no. Ooh. I've volunteered at Parkrun 28 times and run 174 times at 73 different locations. My athlete ID is 344-899 and I first scanned in in November 2012. My first run at Nambour Parkrun was in 2017. My surname shares part of the name of a regional South Australian Parkrun, Chris. I was gonna say, Robert. No. Before today, my last Parkrun was at Main Beach's 10th anniversary. Janet. Oh. <laughs> no. no. Yeah. You, I need a name. <laughs> Brendan. <laughs> Brendan no, hasn't it's not Brendan. Yet. Okay, has everybody tried to answer now? No, okay, Brendan hasn't that, yet. you haven't answered no. yet. I've run at Bunyaville 32 times, <laughs> where I've been the fastest female. So, Sorry, since you've all buzzed in, only Brendan's eligible to answer now. Oh, I have no idea, but I'll say them. I'm a member of the Channel 5 News crew, <laughs> and I'm standing right here. <laughs> so that's one point to Brendan. And one point to me. And one point to me. <laughs> Okay, next question. Which park run is the only one in the whole continent? Brendan. It's Cape Pembroke Lighthouse Park Run. Yes, and it's located? It's in the Falkland Islands. And the continent? The continent of South America. Yes. <laughs> oh. I was just putting you to the test there. I just really needed the name, but that's okay. <laughs> Okay, we have a couple of multiple choice questions. Okay, so again, one answer, first in gets the first guess. How many registered park runners have the name, have the surname Sunshine? Is it A, 20, B, 30, C, 40, or D, 200? Chris. 40. No. 200? No. Anyone else want to guess? Brendan? 30. No. 20. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll do one more multiple choice and we'll do a score check. Okay, so since we're on the Sunshine Coast, how many registered park runners have the surname Coast? Is it A, 1, B, 7, C, 14, or D, 21? Ooh. Chris? 7. No. 21. No. Oh. <laughs> 14. Yes, that's oh. correct. Okay, Ollie, score check please. Okay, our score check is currently sitting in fourth, Melissa. <laughs> Yet to get off the mark. Sitting in third, we have Chris on one. Sitting in second, Janet on two. And leading, Brendan on four. Mm. All right, we have two questions left. Uh, next question, which Australian park run is closest to the sun? No. It's a bit of a trick question, maybe. Thinking a bit laterally, maybe. Oh, 
Yes, Chris. Armadale. Correct. Mm -hmm. And the reason is? The highest elevation. That's correct. Ah. <laughs> okay, final question. Which is Australia's most westerly junior park run? Chris. Ainsbury? No. 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 Uh, it's Thornton Juniors in oh, Tesseract. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Janet! Janet! <laughs> what happened to our South Australian? That is correct. <laughs> okay, so that is the end of our questions. Do we need a tiebreaker? Oh, I no, it's not the end of our questions. We have one more left. We have one more. Now, do, we, do we make this worth normal points? Ooh. <laughs> Got consistency. Park one's about consistency. Park one's about consistency. <laughs> um, I was beating your best. Please, please. Yes. <laughs> so, double point, double points. So with two points, will that make a difference, Ollie? If we make it worth two points, <laughs> maybe not to the score. No. <laughs> Currently, Brendan's leading by three. Brendan is leading by three. Okay. Maybe I'll go away and everyone plays for second. Okay. Let's see how we go. Um, there are 80 park runs in the world that start with the letter A. 13 of those are in Australia. The question is, can you name five of them? <laughs> Brendan. Okay, Al Albert Melbourne Park Run, Airlie Beach, um, Aldinga Beach. Um, there's some very obvious ones I'm um, leaving. Um, Applands Weir Park Run. Augustine Heights Park Run. Augustine Heights do, no longer exists, so that is not the correct answer. Um, for double points, does anyone else want to buzz in? <laughs> An alternate answer. <laughs> no. Ashbro. Yes! <laughs> Two points to Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'd already talked about Armadale, so that was probably a bit of a gimme that nobody got. So, yes. <laughs> okay, so All right. score check. Score check, and uh, forgive the creative accounting here, but in second place we have Melissa, Janet, and Chris on two. <laughs> And our quiz winner today is Mr. Brendan Peel, regaining the title on 5.8. 5.8. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I have a tiebreaker question. Oh, yes. Should our second place contestants have a go at the tiebreaker? Yep. Okay, so this is guessing a number. Um, so we will go higher and lower between the three of you until one of you gets it. We're going, I'll, I'll prompt you whether it's higher or lower than the guess, mainly because my maths isn't very good and I won't be able to tell which one's closer if you all guess. So um, are we happy to go left to right with our guesses? So Chris, Janet, Melissa. So the tiebreaker is, can you guess the combined total of Mel and Ollie's park runs? Three hundred and eighty. Higher. Four hundred and seventy. Higher. Four hundred and seventy. Lower. Four hundred and forty-eight. Higher. Four hundred and sixty-three. Higher. Four hundred and sixty-five. Higher. Four hundred and sixty-nine. Lower. <laughs> 468. Yes! <laughs> the total is 468 with 293 is Mel's and Ollie is on 175. We're not far off. We might be able to synchronise 200s. Uh, yes! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. So congratulations, all contestants. Well done. Um, we have a prize for our um, We have a champion. prize for our winner. So, <clears throat> we do not have a golden pineapple. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a good thing. I hope you'd appreciate something different. No, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> so, certainly, um, to embrace some of the traditions of the parkrun adventurers, what we do have is some other kind of pineapple. 
tropical pineapple chocolate. Thank you. That'll last every bit of five minutes. Thank you. And, <laughs> and uh, because we've been entrusted with the keys to the Ferrari, <laughs> we'd like to pass on <laughs> a Ferrari to you. Thank you. <laughs> and as Mel said, size doesn't always matter. But, uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> No, thank you All to right. everyone well, for, thank you for, for joining in, in as part of our quiz. And thank you especially to Lyndall. Uh, thank you to our quiz master for support with the questions. All right, so we're coming to the last part of the um, morning where we thought we would have a little discussion, perhaps, about 20, Palm 2022. So, uh, we have thought that we liked the idea of it being in a different state or territory every year. Because we're adventurers, so we like to go somewhere different. And, and we have had some good representation so far. Probably New South Wales got the bonus, bonus palm. Mm. Yes, had a bonus one. Yes. We'll, we'll maybe to make up for that. Yeah. So, yes. So... We also thought uh, we would return to the, the uh, Sunday fun run concept of adding in uh, actual event hmm. in the location that we choose. So <laughs> <laughs> So it, well, it's not always easy to line things up, but no. we'll certainly do our best to, uh, to line it up with one of those. Yes. yes. So we, we haven't chosen an event, <laughs> but we've chosen a state. So we are planning to go to Tassie. So firstly, we'd like to apologise to Cam, because of course we haven't been to WA, but um, yeah, we will get there. Yeah, it was there. a close... We will get there. Yeah. Um, and maybe Mark as well, because we haven't been to ACT. Oh, true that. And, yep. But the, uh, the Victorian contingent certainly do seem to travel, so I don't think that they're too phased about <laughs> us not going to Victoria. <laughs> but I don't think we will line it up with the Cadbury Marathon because that's January. So. January or Feb. Is it yeah. Feb? Oh. Might be Feb. Okay. Might be Feb. But there are a couple of... Ah, OK. Well, there are a it's couple April. of candidate events. Oh, mm. well, that's... Cut. Yeah, mm. OK. So we certainly haven't gone as far to picking a, a specific park run yet. No. So we'll get to the drawing board. Suggestions are always welcome. We can all get up here. Oh, yeah. Sorry, for those of us who haven't do it that much. <laughs> <laughs> Have you, you, haven't, you haven't done that, I haven't done that. Oh, I'm yet to go to Tassie. Yeah. 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 So, uh, <laughs> Geeston. Well, there's been a few people go to Geeston, so we'll have to line it up so that I uh, suppose. Yeah, exactly. I will stay for a week. Yeah. <laughs> both. <laughs> both. Yes. All right. And we also have an update, Ollie, yes. of another type. Yes. That you may not have caught wind of yet. Yeah, yeah, it was an update given to us. Well, really. this, this is right, we didn't know either. Um, <laughs> but come July, there's going to be a special release of another item of ugly apparel. So, I don't know that we, we can say, well, we can say it's not going to be a shirt or a singlet. And it's likely to be, I think, the 24th of July, which will come close to... A date to, to be confirmed in that... That's the event. Event. The event. Yes. 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 So stay tuned well before then to, uh, to get to embrace and prepare and, and to, uh, to join in, uh, I suppose, ugly Christmas in July. Can't have too much ugly. No, that's right. As, as we've proven today. <laughs> yeah. Will there be a social occasion to mark this event? I think there should be. A central location. A, a social location. Oh, a social location. <laughs> it's not proposed to be different on that date. If you don't want to see. Oh. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> uh, uh, we can... Uh, we're we can the, workshop that. Ringle. Yes. Yes. Ringle and Melbourne. Mm, okay. Ah. Oh. Victoria. <laughs> well, we haven't done anything in Victoria. That's right. That's right. We could have an unofficial mini palm. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> the whole palm forest. Palm frond. Yes. <laughs> palm, palm frond. <laughs> Yes. Well, yeah. this is bringing us close to the end. We, we did wonder 
If there was any questions for us, um, previous Palms have had a Q&A session. We might need a mic unless we just went... Yeah, we would. Yeah. Linda but we didn't prepare anybody. We... I know what yours will be. <laughs> I was going to say, now that Ollie has toured to a different car front and not Shell Lava, is he going to go to somewhere else now? <laughs> and, and if so, where? Yeah, it's, um, it feels a bit unnatural. It, it, it crept up on me. I thought I was uh, starting to get in a bit of a rhythm of actually touring to other events, but um, I got a bit comfy once again. No immediate plans, but I certainly do need to get my, um, my backside in gear and get down to Melbourne sometime. So uh, I don't know when that'll happen. July's sounding like a good candidate, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we like to like to do something before July, and hopefully there's an event too there, uh, or an event too somewhere in between that I can jump on the man wagon for maybe next week or uh, mm. anybody else or well, we can wrap up I have a question yes Lyndall is the informant here this weekend oh I think generally speaking the informant is always with us <laughs> good answer <laughs> <laughs> That's a great answer, Ollie. <laughs> Thank you. Are you the informant in this? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I understand there was some informant discussion this morning, so um, yeah, we'll, hopefully we'll find out. Sometime. We hope you have enjoyed yeah. the informant. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I mean, who's more popular, intern or informant? Uh, for any that may not have caught up, but, um, but catch up on the most, right most That's recent. Be harsh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they can handle the criticism. I think I'm making a good duo. A duo. I don't think there's one that's better than that. man yeah. always yeah. needs his Robin. Needs yes. His the intern's cheeky and quirky and the intruder's very soft. The inform yes. <laughs> yep. The yin and yang. The intruder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's intruder. Yeah. Uh, okay. We haven't heard much from the Oracle. That's made an appearance and then that's disappeared. So is the Oracle coming back again? I think the Oracle is a power to themselves, really. Far too. Just a to power to themselves. Yes, yes, yes. Only the oracle. Only the oracle can know. Answer that question. Can only the oracle. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, that's that's at that's least three or four questions more than we get via email. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look, um, Thank you once again, everyone. We've loved getting to um, stand up in front of you and record a podcast in front of you. That's um, something we've been looking forward to a lot, haven't I'm sorry we, to Pippa in the UK who thought this was going to be actually live on Facebook. Did you? We loved the quiz. Ah, OK. Oh, well. Thanks for telling us. <laughs> Probably thanks for not telling us, yeah. <laughs> well, we hope you enjoyed Bye, the quiz. Hi, Pippa. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. So, um, anyway, what's up? What's up to next week? Ollie, you back to Shell Harbour? Yeah, I'm back to Shell Harbour next week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've just got to wrestle the uh, run director vest back off Hannah. So, yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah, some adventures soon, too. Okay. Yeah. What about you, Mel? Yeah, I'm staying local next week. After... Uh, I've had a long run of touring. Yeah. So. I, I, I meant to ask. So, top three events from this holiday. <laughs> well, I haven't done three here yet. Well, uh, during your, your time away. Oh, that's... Yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the, my favourite event is the one that is Mel's. Yes. <laughs> yes. There's two Mel's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Yep. Fair park, fair park for me next week. Excellent. Well, um, thank you everyone for being a, a part of Palm 21. We hope to uh, hope to see many of the, your faces and certainly many more of you at Palm 2022. We'll have to get the information out nice and early and provided, you know, we, um, we do get to have safe travel and um, should say, you know, we've been very fortunate to have safe travel. So again, thank you all for bearing with us with the uncertainty of the time. We're very fortunate and, and um, Hopefully, hopefully, some of those who may not have been able to travel, you know, even even on the international side, I think there's some interest in making it across to the next palm. Hopefully, we can be joined by a few more. Hmm. Thank you, Mel. Thank you, Ollie. And thank you, everyone, once again, who's supported us.
this is the informant. These are unofficial stats. They are only current at the time I collected and may differ from the stats we read elsewhere. Before we get into the stats, I would like to apologise for the previous week's stats not being uploaded until Monday. Apparently the phrase, make sure you post to the blog before you leave, is a little ambiguous. You did not tell me to do that. I did. You were probably just too busy with your ticky-cocky thing. Whatever, Boomer. You're lucky I didn't find out until Monday, or you would have been left at home. Nah, you're stuck with me, old man. The fans like me the best. The palm public said so. I don't think that's what they said. Yeah, Mel told me. Linda wants me to stay and you to go, you old Rubbish. grumpy. Moving on with the stats. Let's talk about exciting stuff. Stats are exciting. It's not as exciting as launch day. I've told you we don't do roving reports. We went to the Wayland Reserve launch. Hey. It's a nice flat pavement course. Some of it's an old go-kart track. It was pretty cool pretending to zoom around. Are you done? Okay. I guess you don't know how to zoom since you have a pulsar. You didn't mind when it was driving you down there. Oh my god. So boring. AM radio is the worst. Two hours of nothing but talky talky. <laughs> hey everyone, did you know you can't put on the crappy aircon and you can't put the windows down because it uses too much petrol. What a time. There were 425 but events. we got a selfie with Kathy Ray. That was awesome. I guess that was good. And we met her friend Erkin. He's a spunk. Excuse me? Mm, but I stalked him on Facebook. And he already has a hottie wifey. Right. There were 425 events held in Australia and New Zealand. Out of 512 worldwide. 392 in Australia. 33 in New Zealand. A few more in Russia, Japan and remote UK territories. And surprise, there was one event launch at Wayland Reserve in New South Wales. In Australia and New Zealand, we had 47,886 runners out of 52,413 worldwide, which is slightly down on last week. We had 7,451 PBs, while 2,026 people participated for the first time. 171 juniors reached the Junior 10 milestone, 230 people reached their 50 milestone, 132 reached their 100 milestone, and 16 people reached their 250 milestone. 18 people called Bingo. Bingo! Murray Isa took just 166 events, while Vivian Buttigieg was the longest with 333 events. We have eight new Territorians. In the ACT, we had Ben Rains, Luke Sweetman, and Andrew Guild at Wagyu Bridge, while Nicky Harper, Tommy Slonka ran at Coombs. Up north, Nicholas Loveday, Stuart Hurd, and Liz Hales all completed the set at Palmerston. Oh, that's the one with the water slides. Well, it starts in a water park, but there's no water slides on the actual run. They should change the course so you get to go down the big slide. You can't add water slides. Imagine adding that to the risk analysis. On the most Aussie New Zealand events list, Mitchell Kohler and Matthew Allen are the biggest winners, moving up 13 places to 201 at Logan River. In the top 20, Brendan and Janine Sellers move up to equal 18th with Jan Bigham after running Cloncurry. Kevin Muller ran Cormoran Bay, which puts him up one, and Neil Schultz down one. Aaron Hardy, who moved to equal six last week, is now outright six after running at Avondale University College. Biggest Wilson mover of the week is Bree McGraw, who jumped 11, coming from zero. Carol Perez is still the highest Wilson indexer on 175. This has been the informant. Wait, what about me? Huh? I'm winning Windexer. No, you're not. You said I went to the launch, so now I'm the number one Windex. I said you are now one on the Wilson Index. Yeah, I'm number one. So I'm winning. No, that's not how it works. I'm number one. No, like I told you before, you have an index of one. The higher the number, 
the better it is. No, it isn't. You're just saying that because you're on 15, you loser. This has been the informant and my spreadsheet has been yours. Look me up on Facebook. Oh, look at the time. Longest report ever. Mel's going to go ballistic. We'll be cutting in on all their banging on about palm, emus and sausage dogs. Well, Ollie won't be banging on about Shell Harbour. Oi, don't be cheeky or it will be your last launch. Well, how about that, Ollie? The informant wasn't at Palm after all. Yeah, the informant gets around, doesn't he? Sounded like a, a fun trip to Wayland. Fun's a word for it. <laughs> <laughs> but it would have been a fun park run day. Congrats to the Wayland team. Yes. And we should add that we've just popped back in so that we could read through all the lovely comments we got on Fluffy's food truck post. Yeah. I mean, you know, well, Dazza had his own version of the holiday. Fluffy, so kind enough of you to roll out the food truck and naturally attract a big turnout, as uh, you've proven you're very capable at doing. And it looks like everyone had a, had a pretty good park run day. They have, Ollie, and I'm mindful that we've already practically recorded the pod. Mm. So we'll do a quick recap on all the posts that we had. Yes. Would you like to start? I'd love to. So it was great to hear again from Val Warwick. Had fun at home celebrating a young friend's 100th, lending her a cape I had made when Steve did his 100th. Coffee at Drift beside a sparkling Bass Strait. And Cameron Drake. Ham and cheese toasty, please. Just chilling with the cool kids at Kalaya Park Run with coffee at the local. I think I might blow off the chores and head out for another run. Such a great morning and what better way to start the day than with 5K. Absolutely. Or was that 10 in the end? Good work. Um, <laughs> Penny Simpson. Wish I could be at Palm 21, but a lovely morning touristing at Collie River Trail Park Run. The photo is of all the park runners who are in the town for the Collie Trail Fest tonight and tomorrow. Got a number in my seconds bingo for the second week in a row. Only five to go. No coffee today due to an impatient fellow traveller. Mm. Mm. Tony O'Connell. Went to Park Run, met a new bird. <laughs> And Beck, Rebecca Bailey, wet run at Yurunga this morning, but nice and refreshing rather than being hot and sweaty. One more week in my April adventuring slash alphabeteering. Wish I could have been at Palm, but have a mountain bike event on Sunday morning I have to be back home for. Irene Heather, ugly singlets made an appearance at Warringal Parklands Park Run for Wilson Index number 18 with Path and Cheryl. Afterwards, coffee and muesli brunch at the train yard in Heidelberg. And Ingrid Botha returned to Cook's River this week as the 7am start at Came was not going to work for my 11-year-old. My 15-month-old schmoodle became a bark runner for the first time today. Woof, woof. This photo is not <laughs> the most flattering for me, but look at that dog go. Not bad for a dog the size of Paris. And a little context, Mel. Context is the dog's name is Paris. A bit of context I neglected to give during a With Me Now lockdown live leading to confusion about the dog being as big as a city. And now a dog the size of Paris has become a family joke. Oh. <laughs> And Mark Scarborough, whoa, this cafe opens early. <laughs> Hope there is room for us after our 9am park run start at Risden Brook Park Run, Tasmania. We are now at Currency Cafe for brekkie and coffee. Mark dials in at all hours. It's always good to hear from Mark. <laughs> Chantel Hosking, today was Laylaw's fifth birthday. Theme was F, so our fragile fun director took the lead. I just participated with Fluffy on a festival top on a fantastic parkrun fanatic. I know only four Fs. <laughs> that was a mouthful. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you got that one. <laughs> oh, just, just. Alison King, wish I could have been there. I went to University of Waikato Parkrun again. A fellow tourist, Nigel Milius, also wants to visit Nambour to meet Fluffy. Nothing significant to report from me, aside from a small turnout, a bit of rain, but great coffee and chat at the Park Run Cafe, Jack's Coffee Lounge in Hamilton, New Zealand. And then Chris Fraser. The rain on the drive over cleared just in time for a nice run at Golden Beach. Sausage roll was a disappointment again. Uh-oh, it's been <laughs> a bad run of sausage rolls. 
Vicky Thompson visited my new home park run this morning. Sunny Inverloch. Has to get a mention, doesn't it? Um, yeah. But no sun. Ran a good time for me and reduced the 75 to 79 age category record by two minutes and 27 seconds. Wow. Well done. And uh, well done also, Mandy Oliver, volunteer timekeeper at Surfers Paradise. And Tracy Wood. Morning, team. I've just toured at Brightwater, cracker of a day on the sunny coast. Pick of me and fellow tourist Caroline Southwell. Yeah, very nice to have Caroline pop in to say hi at the recording too, Mel. It was. Yes. We also get a, a bit of distance inclusion or, you know, being part of the event from afar from Pippa. Pippa White joined you in spirit with a new PB. Yes, and she was sporting her ugly Christmas singlet, Claire Stutchbury. Balanced the books this morning at Kira Park Run. Jack and I are now on the same number of events, 79, as I've done this course before. Some answers for questions from the pod. No palm, devastated. As you may have worked out by now, we already had a weekend booked for another event, so yes, early notice would be great. Home was Canberra Goulburn until December. We have just moved to Brisbane. So many new events to adventure. Cow Club is next which we should achieve together now, and Event 200, which should be achievable prior to the end of the year. Oh, you guys don't stop. That's fantastic. And Bernadette Bennett, RD at Newey. Drizzle kept the numbers to the hardy ones and a good time was had by all. Good work. Excellent. Lots of lovely inclusion there and lots of people getting festive and wearing their ugly Christmas singlets. Yeah. Oh, look. It's been fantastic to see the tinsel up close and, and again from afar. But, you know, clearly Parkrun Day was, was something special for a lot of us. And, um, yeah, thanks, everyone, for sharing. All right. And, Ollie, we should mention, because we keep forgetting. Yes. If anybody would yes. like <laughs> to send us any messages or any feedback or any questions, please feel free to send us an email at parkrunadventurers at gmail.com. Or send us a Facebook message. We can be contacted that way as well. Yeah, always great to hear from everyone. We imagine um, we're going to start to hear a few questions about dates before long, Mel. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> we, <laughs> we better get the whiteboard out, Ollie. I think so. A good whiteboarding session is yeah. in store. Yes. Uh, so probably time for us to say goodbye for another week after a very big week. Huge week. But can I just say, Ollie, when you listen back to the pod, make sure you listen all the way to the end because you don't want to miss anything. Noted, Mel. I look forward to it. All right. I'll chat again next week. See you, everyone. today and I got a picture with Path. Um, we put two fingers up each and there was this really large ant on my foot and Beck stomped on it. <laughs> See you soon Mel. I miss you.